Hello and welcome to day seven of Advent with the Angels. Send you all so much love. And I absolutely love where the number seven is today because it's on Santa himself and it's on Santa's arm. In fact, it's on his sleeve here. And I feel this is a big message from God that it's okay to wear your heart on your sleeve. It's okay to be vulnerable because vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. You know, the more loving we are, the more kind we are and gentle we are. We may feel we get walked on or hurt, but we are alive and we are living our authentic truth and operating in joy because when we give, we receive. So the more we give the energy of love to others and ourselves, the more we receive that love. And it can be hard sometimes when we feel we're getting hurt by others or we're struggling with something, even crying over it. Because, you know, sometimes when we cry, we can wipe tears on our sleeve or we release things from our life and, you know, we have to deal with that. But we are strong. And I spoke about that yesterday, about being the lighthouse and whatever's going on in your life right now, nothing can knock you down. You are strong enough to handle it. And the hands, you know, which is also connected with this number seven here is about power. There's power in your hands. You are a healer. You are an intuitive. You are psychic. And the power is in your hands to make changes. Now, the number seven is also on the left hand. And it's also falling over the ring finger. Can you see that there? Okay, the number seven is here. And you can see Santa's fingers, especially the ring finger. So I actually feel this is a sign about the future, a sign about what you're manifesting. And it's really powerful because as I look at the other side on Santa's right hand is the number 24, which is Christmas Eve, which is really powerful. So I feel these two messages will be really powerful. And I've already seen an intuitive message with the 24 energy, but I'm not going to say it just yet because I'm feeling it's for them, but it's powerful. But the seven is about what you manifest it. And I feel you could be manifesting a ring, Okay. I thought I've got a little ring. I have. I wore my little star ring when I did Pixie Power Advent messages the other day. And I'm going to put this on because, you know, it's just a symbol of what's to come. Star. The star is about hope for the future. And I feel that whatever you're hoping for in your future, the power is in your hands now to manifest it. The angels are reminding you it's okay to wear your heart on the sleeve. I feel this is what's coming to you, a proposal. So I feel definitely marriage or commitment in your future and I actually feel this is also a sign of a, a release a karmic release letting go of a marriage that no longer serves or needs to go so that commitment can come in for you so I'm seeing you manifesting marriage and commitment in your future isn't that powerful and Santa you know is kind of saying of course you're manifesting it you're on the nice list that when you're nice and good this is the things that come to you Wow, we keep getting these hats, don't we? Now, we've had a hat coming through over the last couple of days and they haven't really given me until now what that means, okay? The first one I felt this hat here, I felt this was giving yourself credit for how far you've come, you know, thinking about that. And then we've got the man with the suitcase wearing a hat for shielding. Now what I'm actually seeing with this hat here, which I'll show you in a second, is the magician. So this, to me, is a magician's hat. So it's about taking control and manifesting. Now, isn't that powerful with the number seven? Because when we see 777, it's a number of manifesting. But this is saying to you, you know, if you overcome the ego and you don't let things knock you down, your dreams will manifest and you're manifesting and creating what you want. And for a lot of you, you are manifesting a ring. You're manifesting commitment with your twin. You're manifesting union. You're manifesting marriage. So the magician is about taking control. Now, let me have a closer look. Okay, yeah, it's like just this magician's hat. That's what I'm seeing there. And he's got a red ribbon. And the red energy, remember, is connected with divine timing. So I feel you're being shown that your dream is manifesting within divine timing. Because when the time is right, the magician pulls something out of the hat. So it's going to happen very magically. And they are showing me intuitively here as well. There isn't one there, but they show me a feather. And feathers are about angel protection, about messages from heaven. So you may actually see feathers today. You may see hats, 
You may see red ribbons on a hat or by itself, and you may see a feather because that's a symbol that you are manifesting your dreams. Look how powerful that is there. You may even see a ring or something connected with commitment if that's what you're manifesting because not all of you are going to be manifesting that. You know, some of you are going to be manifesting other things connected with career, finances, something else. So you may see a preview of that, but I'm definitely feeling marriage and commitment and you manifesting your dreams in that way. Love it. So what's the energy, please, angels, around this day? What do we need to know? So if I wasn't doing the Advent series, this would be the deck I would be using because it's Christmas. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, look at this. Now, the first thing I'm seeing here is the time, the clock, okay? Don't get hung up on the when. Let that go because it will happen in divine timing. And the Knight of Pentacles is a yes. You know, it's a thumbs up from heaven. It's the angel saying, whatever you're wanting and manifesting, you're going to have it. Okay, you will get where you're meant to be. This is a card of eventual positive outcome. And again, we've got that gorgeous kind of pink ribbon there as well, which they're actually showing me intuitively as an elastic band. An elastic bands, got one here, dropping everything on the floor, snap back into place. I won't do it because I'll hurt myself. But it doesn't matter how far away from each other you go, it snaps back into place. You come back together because you are the same. So that's what you're being shown. There's going to be an eventual positive outcome. But let go of the clock. The worry about it. Let go. And if you find that you're being controlled by time, take off your watch. Okay? Take off your watch. Don't wear a watch. You know, I haven't worn a watch for years. Okay? I am actually thinking of getting one, though, because this is really powerful. Because time no longer controls me. Because it did before union, but now I feel I could actually wear a watch. Not all the time, maybe if I went out to an event or because I do find a lot of the time I'm wondering what time it is when I'm watching a show or something's going on, when I'm out and about. So I feel when you, 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 when you can handle time, you can wear a watch, it's fine. I'm not saying you can't wear a watch, you can wear whatever you want. You know, you can wear watches, whatever clothes you want, but... In my personal journey, I found that I was being controlled by the when because I was wearing a watch. I also found that I was being controlled by time because my clocks in the home were above where I was. So in here, for example, I can't, I'm going to turn it round and if you're going to see it, okay. Can you see my clock there on the wall, okay? My clock is, it's literally the same height as me here. But before, we just turn my camera back around, before, you know, before Union, I had all of my clocks on the floor. And, you know, the one in the living room is still on the floor. You know, and in the, the kitchen, the only clock that's above me is, which isn't really above me, it's on the same level as the kitchen clock, the, the cooker clock. Because if you feel that you are a person who is affected by time and it's controlling you, then just try... You know, just try it for a month and let me know how you get on. And it does work. Remove your clocks from a higher level than you. Because if the clock is higher than you are, whether you're standing or sitting, it's going to control you. Okay, because it's bigger than you. You're bigger than the time. If you feel you're constantly checking your watch, take it off. But if you feel you've mastered time like I do a little bit, I feel that way. We'll see. Okay, I'm thinking about getting a watch for Christmas time and... Because, you know, because they are pretty. There are some pretty watches out there. And then I'll be able to let you know if I feel again like I'm being controlled more by time if I'm wearing a watch again. It's going to be an interesting experiment for me. That's what I'm going to do. How interesting these things come to us, you know, at the right time. So let go of the when. And that's what I'm seeing because the, the clock is right at the top, you know. So... Don't make that priority when, how. Just know it's going to happen because it will. The yes should be at the top and the clock should be at the bottom. But the message is you are the magician of your life. You're creating your reality. But every magician or every kook, they're giving me a chef's hat. Every chef knows that the kook, you know, creates, but the oven does the work. Which means that you're the kook, you're the creator. But... The universe does the work. The universe is the oven. So in other words, you get this beautiful meal, but it has to go in the oven and cook. Otherwise, 
it will it'll be raw it won't be very nice it'll be bitter it'll make you ill so we have to let the journey cook or bake you know process and that's what the universe takes care of in divine timing just like you set the cooker clock to cook whatever food you are cooking okay and we say cooking stoke you could say cook okay so whatever you are cooking but i say cook because i'm from stoke we say look and book and you know that's robbie williams too you know robbie williams the singer is from where i'm from so that's why he speaks that way too just so you know so this is about knowing that you are manifesting your dreams especially a ring in divine timing i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon